Hey guys, it's Alicia. My hubby Jarrett is here too. And our two dogs. We're doing a one year kind of update on Rocky over there, Connie Corso. He turned a year old two days ago. And so we just wanted to film him, kind of give his stats at the moment. Now, as of a month ago, he was 122 pounds. We're going to weigh him for his uh, heartworm. We have to weigh him every month to get the proper dosage for his heartworm medication. So we're going to take him in next week. So I'll put an updated weight, a clip of that in here. But like I said, he was 122 about a month ago. His dad was 130, correct? Yeah. And his mom, I think, was just over 100, or is just over 100. Sit. Sit. Ah. Sit. Sit. Wait. Okay, what is he? As far as how he's been, I would say he's probably the easiest puppy, and I said this last time, and it has maintained. He's been the easiest puppy I've ever had. Yeah. Fell over there was pretty easy too, but I think as far as trainability and stuff, he's been a whole lot easier. Um, he's super sweet, probably the sweetest dog, and she, before I would say, was the sweetest dog. She's super sweet, but she's high energy. Yeah. Where he's super sweet and he's low energy, and so it comes across as being sweeter. He may be sweeter. He's very, very affectionate. He likes to yeah. cuddle a lot. Yeah. And she does too. Bella would. So yeah, Bella, Bella does. Bella's nasty. Um, but uh, yeah, really, really cool dog. We've really enjoyed him. I was a 100% bulldog, and I still am. I still love bulldogs. But this has kind of changed, having him has sort of changed my uh, view on favorite breed. I think I kind of like these guys a little better now, to be honest. Just because, well, they're a lot, I don't want to say they're a lot smarter, but. They're a lot smarter. They're probably a lot smarter than the Bulldogs. She's an old English Bulldog, so she's not, I mean, she's not dumb, but. He's just been a whole lot easier to train. So, uh, the last year, you know, we we did a video where we, um, you know, we were training him, and so we make it, you know, we made him wait for his food, uh, which we still do. We don't wait very long, but I've tested that a couple of times, and he'll keep, um, he'll wait until we tell him to. One of the fun things that we have seen is. Uh, well, actually, if we just kind of take a treat out and throw it to him, or like the chicken backs, he'll actually grab it out of the air, spit it out, and sit there until you tell him to go ahead. Uh, yeah. Which is, which is really neat. Uh, we'll run him through his quote-unquote tricks. We, he doesn't really have any tricks. We did some obedience with him, and once we got to a certain point, we haven't done more. But he's pretty good. Yeah, I would say all the tricks he does now are pretty much what he learned when he was a little puppy. Yeah. He's gotten better with the weight, and he's gotten a whole lot better with, like, healing and stuff. Healing was a bit of a nightmare because even as a puppy, he was big and strong. Yeah. So we've got him to where he heals. Bella just loves this. Not really. Um, he heals pretty well. He loves Bella. Loves to play with her. Bella does not love to <laughs> play with him. Sometimes she'll she she'll get into she it. Hold back, no, she he, doesn't. Well, he holds back, or she'd be dead. Yeah, she's not always in the mood. But uh, you want to have him do his yeah, stuff. We, we will. So some of the challenges, um, and there's just very few. He does not like to have his nails cut. No, he's a big baby. Um, and so uh, most of them stay uh, ground down because we walk them every day. Uh, but there's two or three that are really long and, and basically I have to wait till he's sleeping. And if I and if I can do it all in one motion, I can get them. That's really frustrating. 
Um, we've said in the past that he's uh, he reacts to dogs. He still does. He still does. We have worked and worked and worked on that. And he's to a place where, you know, he'll respond to commands and he'll respond to um, vibration. And so I'm not really worried about that anymore. He's, I mean, his breed kind of makes it where he's going to do what he does and that's fine. But he needs to listen when we tell him what to do and, and he's actually pretty good at that. So he'll still react and then he'll, as long as he responds, we're okay with it. Um, he is hairy. <laughs> he is hairy. Oh. If you if you research Corso, uh, what is it? It's not Corso, it's Corsi. Whatever. Cor yeah, Corsi. Corsi. If you research them and you look at the shedding, I think it says they're low, low to they moderate. Only do it twice a year. Twice a year. Yeah, even his breeder's like, oh yeah, they have their shed periods. It's like this dog has his shed period. He sheds all day, every day. He sheds a chihuahua about every two days. Yeah, he does. I mean, the hair has been a lot to keep up on, but he is a little longer. Let's see if I can show his coat. Yeah, he's a thicker coat. Than, than he's got a little than thicker coat. Anyway, I'm trying to get his coat, but he's moving too fast. But he uh, definitely has a little bit of a longer coat than uh, typical, and it definitely shows in the shedding. And so, you know, the breed, they're, they're Mastiff-type dogs, they're mastiff -y. And so he's got, see, right there, the floppy flus. The floppy flus, yeah. Well, he'll do that in the house. And fling slobber and everywhere. And so there's dried slobber, and we have to go through once every couple of weeks and, and wash the walls and, okay, maybe the ceiling, too. Yeah. That's kind of gross. Yeah. Um, but I don't, I don't know. It's obviously not enough to be an issue it's just something new that you don't get with other dogs no because bella you know she get a little bit of the slobber action and stuff but nowhere near this guy with his flus so yeah shedding slobber i expected the slobber i did not expect the shedding yeah. I, I mean I, a little bit because again he's longer hair but not to the point oh, it's bad. it is really bad i mean his hair is just everywhere yeah. All day, every day. And as I think, I think you posted videos or at least posts. We took him cross country. Uh, he did great. Yep, he did really well. He travels well. really well. Uh, we've taken him camping as we're camping right now. Yeah, he we're camps really well. We're currently camping. Uh, what's been nice this go around is he'll actually get in the bunk at night and stay most of the night, whereas before he would keep coming in and checking on us. Yeah. And so everybody got a better night's sleep last night. So as he's maturing, he's starting to, I think, become more confident or just more, you know, relaxed in his environment. Yeah. And he loves to be outdoors, as you can see. I'm trying to think of what else there is. There's not a lot to say about him. No, he's just a good dog. He, he plays well. Well, he plays well with our son but he still kind of sees him as a peer. Um, he just chewed on a thorn. <laughs> he did just chew just, on a thorn. You rethought that. his decision there. So he'll still get that puppy energy uh, with our kid. So we still have to watch pretty close with that. Um, but he really, he really loves all the family. Yeah, definitely. Uh... He still likes to put his entire body weight on my pinky toe. He still leans in real heavy yeah, too. Yeah, I love that about the breed because her the the breeders' dogs do that too. Uh, so I assume most most of them do. Um, Is he eating rocks right now, Rocky? Leave it. Um, sometimes you know there's there's a time and a place to not do that, um, but mostly it's it's very pleasing. Wanna... Bella's got her stick there too, you see? Oh, no, she does. Yeah, yeah he loves sticks. So does Bella, as All you right, can let's tell. See. Let's see, He's. this is a, a highly distracting environment. Come here, Rock. Rocky, come. Sit. Shake. Good boy. Spin. Down. Rocky, down. And lay, yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Rocky, sit. 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 Wait. Good wait.
Watch it come. He'll, he'll do that for uh, for basically the length of a football field now. Yeah, he waits pretty well. We don't do that so much just because you know he's he's become comfortable and, and pretty pretty dang obedient. Um, but it's fun to do that and have him still. His recall is pretty good too. Yeah, just call him and see. Yeah. Rock, Rocky, come. Good boy. A lot of these dogs have a super high prey drive. He does um, not. He does not. He'll he'll get out of when we let him out of the house. He'll start after a deer or a squirrel, and we'll yell, leave it, and he'll stop. That's been the key. The leave it has been the key to his um, dog reactivity. Yeah. So when he reacts to a dog, it's leave it, and then we give him a command to follow, and he's he is pretty good about doing that. Yeah. That's been a good one to have. But yeah, I think that's about it. He's been a really neat dog. He likes to sniff. We yeah. had a, well, we don't know what it was, came through and knocked over garbage cans. And then I took him for a walk the next morning and he, you could tell he was sniffing. He followed it from can to can and then down the road and then up off the road. It was probably a raccoon. He wants to be a tracker. Yeah, he probably, it would, I don't think it'd be hard at all to, to train him in tracking. But that's about it. He's been a really, really fun dog, I think. Yeah. We've really enjoyed him. Um, it'd be fun to get another one, honestly, but the sheer size of them, I don't know. I, I think that would uh, be too much, too much dog. But, you know, maybe someday. But if you guys have any questions about the breed or our experience with the breed, Feel free to leave them down in the comment section and we'll answer them the best we can. This is our first Corso, so this has all been kind of new. But again, I think it's all been mostly positive. Yeah, I've, I've never had buyer's remorse. Yeah. I still get buyer's remorse on occasion with Bella. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Bella. Well, you know, when she's a bulldog. Yeah, when she's a bulldog. She's a bulldogs. She's a pain, yeah. All right, guys, so that's it, I think. Like I said, if you have any comments, leave them down in the comment section and we will try to answer them. Thank you guys, as always, for watching and we will see you on the next one. Say bye, Rocky. I also wanted to add in here real quick because we completely forgot to mention it and it is something that's really important, especially with this breed, and that is socialization. We have been socializing Rocky with different people, places, things ever since we've had him. And that's something that we continue to do on a regular basis because it's extremely important, as I said, especially with this type of breed, guarding breed, you need to socialize, socialize, socialize. That has really been our primary focus with him is just socialization and getting him used to lots of different people and scenarios so that he behaves appropriately in the different scenarios. So I wanted to mention that. And then I also wanted to mention that we raw feed Rocky. He has been raw fed since he was weaned. His breeder raw feeds all her dogs. And we just continued that once we got him. So he is raw fed. I will link a couple of the raw feeding videos that we've done showing what he eats up above and down below if you want to check that out. But anyway, guys, that is it. As I said before, if you have any other questions, please leave them down below in the comment section and we will try to answer them. Thank you for watching and we will see you on the next one.